Good morning and welcome back to Honey Bee Farmstead. I'm Mel and this is a bit of a different video today, structurally. Um, so you're seeing this after the fact um, of what we got up to yesterday. Uh, but I wasn't planning on making a video and then it, it turned out to be so awesome that I decided I was going to make a video for you guys. Um, so it's the next morning of the video you're about to see and before you, we jump into it and um, see the video, I wanted to say a big thank you to Mike, my friend from the dairy that allowed this to um, happen and was so generous with his time and information and um, yeah, just teachings and things like that. So yeah, we went down to my friend's dairy. Uh, it's where we get our calves from when we need foster calves. Um, and we ended up doing a full milking with him, Grace and my friend Mel and I. So we hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you at the end. This is the first part of the milking day where they have to bring in all the big cows that have got either injuries or are getting old or, or they're just lazy and they want to lay around right near it where it's close to be milked. So Grace helped Mike bring them in and wait for all the other girls. Aren't they beautiful? And look at how they know exactly what to do. Cows love routine. and. Behind them there is Mike's farmhand bringing in the cows from their pasture where they are grazing all day. This one's the one that knows the drill the most. You might be wondering, how many cows is that? At this particular dairy of Mike's, there's around 480, give or take, that are milked every morning and afternoon. These are cows ranging in age from first time mothers, so generally two years old, uh, right up to as old as they will keep performing. Sometimes they even make it to 12 years old um, before their milk production starts to slowly peter off. Wait, watch, watch. She happily goes in. See that? She's waiting to go in the next one. Oh, wow. That's cool, eh? So cool. Jonna, that's Mel and Mel. Hi. Yeah, cool. Oh, look at that udder. That's a beautiful udder. Over there. They all just stay. Yep. Thank you. 
You'll notice here that only three of the cups are being used. That means this cow has a blind quarter. There's an extra teak. She's obsessed with it. There. On the brown one. That's where it's going, into a big bat. Gracie, careful, they start to wee and poo by here. This area, towards the end of the run, is also known as the splash zone. See how they back out? Yeah. See he's spraying betadine on them so they don't get infected. And then do they, oh, is that all the cows that have already been milked? Yep, they've been milked and now they go back out the pasture. And out they go. Can you tell the difference between a Jersey and a Frisian or yes. Holstein? Yes. What's the difference? 
jerseys have rings around their nose. The white rings? Yeah. But also they look different, don't they? Yeah, way different because some have long faces and the jersey has short faces. Yep. And so what do the Frisians usually look like? The Frisians look like hairy. They're a lot They're bigger? Hairy. Yeah. They're generally patchy colours, black and white, brown and white, that sort of thing? Yeah. So they're all... Um, Frisians. Antiseptic wash so they don't get any infections. Look at that. Look at that big out of grace getting smooshed. <laughs> Don't touch her, she might kick. Um, can I ask, as we're walking around, sometimes the cups are off. Is that you didn't put them on or they're finished being milked? Uh, like this one, this Oh right, because she's been on medication. Yes. All right. Uh, that meant to happen. Not coming through. Is that right. Is that so, did that one stay on because she didn't want to get out? Yeah, it's gone up there. So, while it's spraying, they're kicking them out because a lot of cows don't want to stay in the cage and/or eat more Yeah. And if they haven't finished milking out, that black bar will come down. Extra two feet. on the platform so they don't walk out with the cups Right. That's really cool. That's All the jerseys wait till last, I noticed. Go out there and push them in then. Do you want us to get out there? What are you doing? I'm doing cups. Putting the cups on the cows. You do this perfect out of here. Oh, Quick, okay. get your glove on. Go Grace. Let let Mike show you. Good job, girl. <laughs> Homeschool. Homeschooling, what they want. You learn way more from doing it. What the heck? Look at that udder. I can't do that one. That one yes, you can. Me. You got it. Oh, good girl. Wow, great to You have an advantage. Whoa. 
Look at that one, Mel. Look at that. Look at that other. That girls have food. Like that like that. Oh, no, is that been done? Uh, no, if it's got orange on it, you'll know. Good job, Grace. It's gonna start moving again, babe. Good job, Grace. Is that fun? Yeah. I need to wash it off. Wash what off, honey? I That's it. Good job. Come on. Good girls. And at this point, the pen is nearly empty. So we were lucky enough to be able to do all of the things around the dairy, like pushing the cows in, a bit of milking, um, spraying their udders with betadine so they don't get infections. And this last little pen of cows have been through the milking area and their chip told the milking machine that they aren't to be milked yet. So they got released out and go through that little crush you see there on the left hand side and are drafted off into a separate pen to go back through the dairy at the very end and have all their milk milked out because they're either on medications or have mastitis or other reasons why the milk can't be put with all of the other milk that goes off to Brown's. Push up. Push up. Push up. Push up. Come on. Push up. Push up. No, no, yeah. You don't want to upset them. Come on, push up. Yep, she knows that. Come on. Push up. Push up, ladies. Well, push up ladies, come on. Come on. Don't do that. They're not like our cows, love. Come on ladies, push up. That's a nice small jersey, huh? Yeah. Push up, push up, push up ladies, come on. Ladies. Degrees, I need one of them. 18 degrees. But um, let me set this up. Um, Come on. Put a, a 
quite comfortable in with milk popped in there. Yeah. So that chills that runs at two degrees. So milk goes through eighteen through the chiller of water. Oh, sorry, through the plate water. Yep. That's good. The luxury of picking your milk up as soon as you finish. Yeah. So can you do a play with one of these? Come on! The float and car. Um, okay. Are we allowed to watch that part? Around there? We can fill out. Come on, lady. Oh, you're a pretty girl. We do not discriminate. Murray Gray, Frisian Jersey. <laughs> I've got it. So these girls, I think they're, I don't know, 20 odd, are the last ones to come back in because their milk can not be mixed with the other milk because they're on medications. See the flashing light? Tells you no milking into the vein vat and they mark it with a bit of tape on the tail as well. Um, so that this milk gets kept in a blue barrel to feed to the calves when they need to be fed. I've got a new a new full-time member on the truck now. Have you met Kelly? I haven't met You've got poop on there and there. I Ready? That tube sucks the milk out of there and into that man's truck. Why does he take it out? He turns it on because he, he bought it. inside a milk truck. Check out that view. Gracie, what are you doing down there? I'm being homeless. They've got all new touch screen pads. Oh wow, even a bed. Look how fancy it is. Even a bed's here. Isn't that awesome? I, got, I should show you guys and get him to explain, but the truck is too noisy to hear. It's really technical. How cool! Don't, don't make me fall out. So everything coming out of these medicated udders is going into here for calves. Straight through a different system. How cool is that, Grace? That's a real cool. It's so really cool. Okay. Okay, so you do the last few. On the teeth. It's iodine. 
Yeah, get closer. He's going to turn it on. Mate, imagine if we got that volume. And back down the lane where they go and out into the pasture until tomorrow morning where they'll do it all again. Is this what you did this afternoon, Gracie? You milked 435 cows, you got 3,800 litres of milk, you milked 219 cows an hour. Wow. We started at 2.45 and finished at 4.40. So it took us an hour and 59 to milk that 435 cows. That's cows. pretty good, Grace, pretty good. So every, all the cows are in a group. I've got all different things set up, so we can do it on their production, seven day milking average, ascending. So if that's the amount of grain they're getting, that's the amount of litres they're producing. So out of a fresh car, there's like, there's one cow there doing 49 litres a day. Whoa. So, something comes How many kilos of grain does she get? She gets 13. Yeah, okay. And so all get the same? No. no. So feeding, feeding table. So we've got a table here, Grace. So they get 15 litres of milk, they get five. I've just upped the kilo this week because I've gone from full grass to so feeding the grass and silage, so I want more protein in them. So that's the amount of milk they get, and that's the amount of grain they get across the bottom. So you can see how the crack goes up. And then every day, I feed mine so much. I just um, do the skin. Still what? Skinny. Oh, they're supposed to be skinny, but I feel like they're anorexic. Because the rest yeah, of your cows right. on your property are fat. Yeah. So I calculate that. So it's just gone. <laughs> Not working as hard. There's five cows yeah. that need to look at their brain. So that cows in group six, and she's getting 4.85 kilos of grain. But it says for the milk she's given, she should be getting 5.7. It's 87. I know that's in track. The cows are going the wrong way. Fresh carver is, should be getting 6.5 kilos, so I'll up her to 6.5. Now, that was the new cow bought in. She should, she gave 36 litres yesterday, so she's only getting 4 kilos, so she, she, she says she should be getting 10. Do you so milk them every day? Yeah, wow. Milk and twice a day, every day. So I just up the 2 kilos straight away, so I won't put much into it, and then I'll step her up over 4 days. Mm -hmm. So she'll lift 1.2 kilos a day for four days. That's cool. That is yeah, cool. There's a million things, and every cow's got its, um, what's a good num? Breeding, cow breeding, let's look at two, 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 just for example. I can look at their milking history for the last couple of years, so every year. It has lactating, lactation two, three, four, five. So I only bought her in late, she finished there and then there. So in the lactation too, she gave seven milk and mature cow equivalent of 7,000. She mature cow equivalent of 9,000, but she milked for longer. So she milked for 500 days, so she gave 13,000. 290 days, she gave 10,000. So that's a perfect cow there. 10,000 days in 290 days. 400 days, 12,500. And it took 17 days to get to the peak, 88 to 44. Wow, this is cool. This lactation, she's only given 419. She's, she's just starting to come into her, she's peaking at 36. 
previously people 52, 50, 39, 27, so she's got another 14 layers to increase and she should get four feet. Sugar. That's huge. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so each one of them I have their number, the group they're in due to the pregnancy status, or just carb, fresh, how old they are, in how many lactations, how old they are, days in milk, grain, seven day milking average, what they gave first milking, second milking, that's a code, and then all the information there. Is that all the cats that you have? In that group, yeah. Then I've got a group summary, so we're actually milking 416 cows, averaging 25.6 litres. So all the new ones are averaging 30 litres, so 140 of them. Pit stop! She looks like a Murray Grey Cross. The colour. Putting coats on all of them. We've got enough coats. All right. So this one's going to Rustic Grove. So. Hey, Tana. Hey, baby. Okay. So Maya is going to go and live at Rustic Groves. You had a big feed, didn't you, Maya? Got a full tummy. The one at the back there, so Tana belongs to us and today we put her on Deirdre. Then we have one over there that's not named yet and we're thinking of one. And then over here we have little Miss Peyton. Gracie picked Peyton, didn't you Grace? So Peyton we put on cinnamon but it was an absolute disaster. She did kick and carry on but we think we know, she probably went through a lot of trauma when it comes to what happened to her with the loss of her baby. So we're being very conscious of that and we're being patient and, you know, they all fed their babies. There was a bit of kicking and carry on, but we'll get there, I'm sure. Um, all the babies seem to be doing well, um, just to preempt any issues um, from them coming up from the dairy, we gave them all five milligrams of descal paste, which is just a probiotic paste, it helps their tummy. We gave them Baycox for coccidiosis because that area of the southwest is quite known to have coccidiosis. It's all preventative measures, um, but yeah, everyone's doing great. So I didn't get any of the mayhem of them feeding their babies for the first time, but Fingers crossed that it all goes really well. This video wasn't about that anyway, and I actually wasn't even going to film us picking up the calves because I didn't want to have to take you on another potentially sad roller coaster ride. So I hope you liked the dairy footage. It was pretty cool, very different to how we do things here. Um, but yeah, Mike was amazing. Grace had a fantastic time. And yeah, we just spent the day learning something new. So we hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a big thumbs up or a comment below Subscribe if you haven't already, please it helps us out heaps and we really appreciate it and until the next video Take care of each other and bye for now mm -hmm.